Hey everyone! So this is our final week for Love Triangles and today we're talking the Love Triangle in Wither and Fever by Lauren Stefano, and the boys are Gabriel and Lyndon and the female, you know, she's Ryan. We don't really care about her, you know that. So, in my personal opinion, I think Gabriel is the one for Ryan, even though I think neither of them are really strong enough for her. She is a very strong girl, and I love her for that. And both Gabriel and Lyndon kind of need to grow a backbone. Gabriel is better than Lyndon, I will say that. He is much more willing to take risks for Ryan, whereas Lyndon is kind of just letting his dad run the show. And his dad is Vaughn. If you haven't read Wither, don't worry, I won't spoil anything, but Vaughn is a crazy psycho. You will learn that in the very beginning. So, why do I think Gabriel's better? Gabriel is a total sweetheart. He is not who Ryan is supposed to be with. You know, that's always the case, forbidden romance. But hey, who doesn't love a little bit of that? So, Gabriel is a servant in the house of Ryan's husband, Lyndon. Yes, I said that, her husband. No, I don't think they belong together, and I don't think that marriage is really valid when he has a couple other wives, too. So, um, Lyndon, I honestly, I have nothing against him. I think he's a very nice guy, but I think his dad has kind of brainwashed him, and he's a little lost. He is very naive. He doesn't see what's going on right in front of his face, and I just, I can't accept that. I think if you are going to be with a girl, you need to know what is going on with her and what is going on around her. And Vaughn, yeah, he has a sick obsession with Ryan. And Lyndon just lets this go. It, that's not okay with me. So Gabriel, he sees what's going on and he is willing to help Ryan figure out a way to get out of it. Now I'm not going to say whether they get out of it or not, but he is willing to risk his life to help her. And I think that is a fabulous quality in a guy. Now, I'm not saying I want a guy to die for me, but you know, if he wants to, that's his choice. <laughs> I, I just, I think Gabriel is a very sweet, chivalrous guy who sees how awesome Ryan is and he's always there for her when she actually breaks down and realizes that she can't handle things on her own. He is there for her and he kind of helps hold her up in tough times and I think that is a great character for a guy to have and I, I just I read scenes with them together and I just think that they really do belong together and so I hope I really really hope that they get their happy ever after in the final book but Judging by what's happened in the first two, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. But hey, you never know. They could all live happily ever after in some kingdom where the bunnies talk. Yeah, that could happen. So, if you've read Wither and Fever, don't post any spoilers, please. But let me know which guy you think is right for Ryan. And then let me know if that's the guy you would choose. Um, I honestly... I think Gabriel's right for Ryan, but I don't know that I would choose him for myself. So give me your opinion on both of those, Ryan and yourself. Um, unless you're a guy, then that'd be kind of weird. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Okay, I am clearly really tired, so <laughs> this is it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Tomorrow's Friday, yay. Um, get lots of reading done, and go read Wither and Fever if you haven't already.